Hey there, fellow gliders. Today we're going to talk about all things search in Glide. There's a few things we're going to cover, um, how to search in the data editor, but then also how to configure your apps for better searching. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing that I want to mention is that Glide updated their platform a while back to allow for searching within the data editor. So here, if I visit the data editor tab, we see that they're right at the top a find column. Uh, this is super helpful if you know the name of your column, uh, but maybe you have 70 columns. You don't have to keep scrolling all the way to end to find that one, right? I can just click in here, type what I'm looking for, and your data editor columns will be filtered by whatever matches that criteria. Here in this case is my image column. In addition to that, you can also use a control F or a command F depending upon your operating system. So I'm on a Mac, so command F, and you see that I get a search box here, and I can also search across my entire data editor for a particular key term. So if I'm looking for my name, Petito, I see that I have nine results, and I can scroll through those results by hitting the down arrow here, and you see I can just kind of cycle through all the data that matches that criteria. But really, what I want to talk about today is the search box that's available within your Glide apps, this one up here. This search box can be enabled on any inline list, whether it lives as a list view or on a details view with an inline list component. And you can just visit that inline list, go to options, and turn on show search bar. Now, if you have more than one inline list on the details view of your app here, you're going to have to enable this show search bar on every single one of those in order for the search box to search those inline lists. All right, a little bit about this search box. The first thing is that it makes exact matches only, meaning I can't search for two different key terms and expect two results within the same search. So here you see I have three different posts. I have a different product, Robert Petito Glide Expert. If I search for product and glide together, you see that neither result appears. So if I search for just product, then the product post appears. And if I search for just glide, then the glide post appears. I can't even do like glide and product to get both results. Um, it doesn't recognize Boolean terms like this. So again, it makes exact matches only. Okay, the second thing is that this search box can only recognize plain text that's put either on the details here or within the details page, meaning it'll search for like this plain text in here. Like for example, the word favor that appears here in a different product. If I search for the word favor, we see that that appears here. Okay, so it'll only recognize plain text that exists either on the details of the inline list or on the details page once you've dived in. Now, let's say you have a tagging system. For example, in my upvote app here, I have this tagging system where I can tag a post with some key terms like Office right, and Stellar. It'll generate posts that are also tagged with those same things. However, because this is not plain text, this is living as a label on this inline list here, um, it won't search for those, Office and Stellar, for example. right? So if I search for the word Office, you see that nothing appears. So what I'd really like is to be able to search for the word office and have all of the posts that are tagged with office appear here as well. So here's the trick in order to get that to happen. Okay, the first thing you have to do is recognize the fact that again, it needs to be plain text on the details page. So what I could do is I could come in here and I could place uh, just some text with those tags in addition to these inline list tags. So I would just come over here to a screen, pop in some text, right? And I could um, place in here my tags. So if I search down here, I see tags. Okay, now Stellar and Office, comma separated. And this is how I'm generating uh, these tags here. Let's give this a refresh. Okay, now that I've placed that text on the details screen and I search for the word Office, we see that now it finally appears here. Okay, and so again, um, if I type the word Stellar, okay, all the things that are tagged with Stellar will now appear. Here's Office, here's Winning, right? So if I search for the word Winning, okay, that will now appear here. So this is exactly the functionality I want. However, I don't want this ugly, just comma separated value at the bottom of my page. So again, the trick is to add the text, but then you can hide the text. So I just come over here to my text component, I go to Options, I go to Visibility, and I just simply mark, mark it as hidden by you know, picking any of my 
columns here. And I usually say something like, you know, is hidden, just as a reference to me that I've hidden that component. So you can no longer see it on your screen here, okay? But the text component still exists. So after giving this a refresh, now you can see that when I type the word winning, right, um, it now will find that post even though the text is hidden at the bottom. So I hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about the search box and Glide, um, its limitations and its feature set, and then how you can trick Glide into searching for terms that are no longer in plain text by hiding the components in your details view. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.